The Sooners play Saturday at Notre Dame. And in a 10-game series with the Irish, the most famous affair occurred 56 years ago here on Owen Field. On that November Saturday, Notre Dame ended Oklahoma's 47-game winning streak, one of the most epic records in sport. The Sooners are unbeaten in 47 straight games, and Oklahoma features a scoring streak of 123 consecutive contests, both of which are all-time collegiate marks. Well, Notre Dame was not. You know, a great team that year. I think they'd lost four games, maybe three, and uh, they didn't go ahead. And after they beat us, they didn't have a super season. So th those things kind of alarmed our coaches. And I remember that week, perhaps more than any other week, the coaches really overprepared us. They ran us. They, you know, they. It was a different as atmosphere. And uh, he told us later that had we not lost to Notre Dame, the class I was in, the 50, 57 class. Uh, would have done something no team would have ever done and they haven't done it yet and that was to win three national championships back to back. So there was an urgency that week to prepare for Notre Dame. Uh, let me tell you, they played hard. Notre Dame's going to have some good players even though their record wasn't good. But his Sports Illustrated deal, Oklahoma unbeatable and what uh, the emotional part of football is a big part. And they just wanted to win worse than we did because of because they wanted to break that winning streak. And uh, we, Clinton and I and the guys, bore the brunt of that <laughs> after all those victories. I could see how they were wanting to get even. We'd embarrassed them the year before to go in and, and not let them score a point. Uh, you know, nobody wants that done to them. I, I would have been embarrassed, got beat 40 to nothing. So. I don't think any of us believed it. You looked up in the stands and people were waiting for the next quarter. I mean, I don't think anyone believed it. And except the Catholics that were in the stadium. <laughs> I, I looked up in the stadium, I saw a lot of turned, up, turned back collars standing and cheering. And as we walked in the locker room, uh, it was like, surely we've got another quarter to play. And we sat in the locker room without our gear off. I mean, we had every guy sitting on those benches, never took their jerseys off, never took their shoulder gear off. We were waiting for Coach Wilkerson to come in. And it was kind of a difficult scene. You will always remember the games you lost. You will never remember the ones you won. And he gave an example of when he was at Minnesota and they lost a big game. And he said, that's the game we think about. And so here we are today. 50 years later, talking about what he said, the game we lost. We, we never lost another game. It was a gut kick, but I only won two games in high school. Uh, I knew what losing was like. I didn't want it. Nobody wanted it. And uh, uh, no, it was, it was a gut kick. Uh, but they, uh, you know, to, to not be able to score that day, uh, they proved that Wilkinson did. You, you don't score, you don't win.